and welcome to Super Mega Storytime. I'm Cyrus, and today we're taking a look at The Gingerbread Man Loose on the Fire Truck. This book is by Laura Murray. It's illustrated by Mike Lowry, and it's a part of the Dolly Parton's Imagination Library, which if you guys have never seen it, is a pretty incredible program here in Tennessee, but actually serves a lot of kids all over the country. Check out the Imagination Library at their website and on Facebook and all the other social media. Now listen, everybody knows about the gingerbread man. We've been hearing about him for years. What happens when he gets loose in a fire station? What can he do? Can he stop a fire? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's take a look at this book, The Gingerbread Man Loose on the Fire Truck. <clears throat> on a bright Monday morning, my teacher buzzed in. Let's all make a circle, it's time to begin. She winked, then she whispered, our field trip's today. The classroom erupted with shouts of hooray! We're riding the bus to the big fire station to meet firefighters and spot the Dalmatian. Sophia leaned down and said, you're coming too. You're our gingerbread man. We wouldn't leave you. Just jump in my backpack, I'll give you a ride. There's a pocket for you over there on the side. The pocket was cozy, I peeked from the top. The bus drove for miles, then came to a stop. In front of the building, with shiny red doors, stood two firefighters from Company 4. One had on gear for a quick demonstration, and standing beside him was Spot the Dalmatian. Their Spot. I jostled and jiggled as kids moved about. Then I fell from the pocket, right on the dog's snout. Spot sniffed at my face, taking one sticky lick. Yuck. I needed a trick to get out of there quick. He tossed me up high with his mouth open wide, but I flipped toward his tail and I slid down like a slide. Whee! My feet hit the ground. I took off for the station, but right on my heels was that hungry Dalmatian. I'll run and I'll dodge as fast as I can. I'm not a dog bone. I'm the gingerbread man. The class didn't notice, they tried on black boots, and helmets, and air tanks, and big heavy suits. I dashed to the fire truck, jumped in a seat. Whew, I was almost a sweet doggy treat. I hopped on the steering wheel, gave it a spin, and yelled out honk honk with a big cookie grin. The wheel spun past gauges and switches and knobs and all kinds of buttons that do different jobs. I'll vroom and I'll zoom as fast as I can. I'll steer this big truck. I'm the gingerbread man. Then I heard someone whistle. Spot trotted away. So I jumped through the window without a delay. I landed on top of a big silver bowl. Oh no, I cried out as I left for a pole. I shimmied right up and I sprang from the top. Then I jumped on a bed with a big belly flop. There were several more bunks with more covers pulled tight for each firefighter who stayed through the night. I bounced on each bed on my way to the door, then into a room on a bright checkered floor. I peeked around the corner and smelled something yummy. A grumbling sound rumbled up from my tummy. I spotted a fireman filling up bowls with five alarm chili and buttery rolls. Mm. Then all of a sudden I heard a loud noise. Woo! Fire, one shouted. No lunch for us, boys. They rushed to the bunk room and slid down the pole. I followed behind them, then peered down the hole. Spot wasn't there, a sure sign of good luck. So I slipped down the pole and then jumped on the truck. I'll ride to the rescue as fast as I can. I want to help, too. I'm the gingerbread man. Whee, went the sirens. The lights flashed around as I zoomed past my classmates below on the ground. We sped through the streets and I clung to the back, near ladders and hoses piled up in a stack. The engine pulled up, firefighters jumped out, they rushed to the hydrant and opened the spout. I spied a large house with a shed near the back, smoke rose from its window, all sooty and black. 
I'll put out that fire as fast as I can. I know I can help. I'm the gingerbread man. I grabbed the hose nozzle and I gave it a pull, but that hose whipped and bucked like a rodeo bull. The water whooshed out and it doused the old shed and the powerful spray shot the hat off my head. The chief ran up quickly and dove on the hose. She crawled her way up till we came nose to nose. Look everybody, it's a gingerbread man. Now where did you come from, said Fire Chief Ann. I came with the children to visit the station, but I almost got eaten by Spot the Dalmatian. I had to escape from that hungry crumb snatcher, so I jumped on the truck when I heard your dispatcher. Good thinking, smart cookie. We're glad you hopped on. You wrestled that hose till the fire was gone. We packed up the truck and drove back to the station. We pulled into the drive to a standing ovation. Your gingerbread guy was a brave little man. He doused every flame, announced Fire Chief Ann. The children applauded and shouted out, yay! They held me up high yelling, you saved the day! You're really a hero. You're part of our crew, but you're missing your hat. So we have one for you. A shiny red hat from Company 4. There are more for your classmates stacked up by the door. I tried on my helmet and shouted, Woohoo! I'm a gingerbread man and a fireman too. And there we go. The gingerbread man loose on the fire truck. Looks like he did a pretty good job and he helped put out that fire in the shed. Pretty awesome. You didn't know the gingerbread man could do all that. We just thought he ran around and nobody could catch him. Well, he actually put out a fire. Pretty cool. Check out the Imagination Library and of course, more books from Laura Murray, illustrations by Mike Lowry. I'm Cyrus and we'll see you next time on Super Mega Storytime.